Hello and welcome to another Bybit tutorial. Today we take a look at the conditional orders function that you have when trading futures on Bybit. It allows you to execute trades that, and you can assign certain conditions to it. A lot of people get confused with the different order types. We already looked at uh, in other tutorials at the limit orders. We looked at the market orders, but today we take a look at the conditional orders. That is quite a complex topic. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. And I will probably split that up into different tutorials as well, because different people look for different trade setups. So I might sort it by different trade setups. Today we take a look at a breakout trade. How can you use the conditional orders with uh, to generate or create or execute a breakout trade? So first of all, you obviously here on the trading dashboard, futures trading, USDT. No, I'm looking at ETH, um, ETH USDT Perpetual. And um, yeah, as you know it from Bybit on the right hand side of your order book, you've got your orders tab and you can add your limit order, market order or conditional order. You have the possibility here to add a trigger price, an order price. You can say how many um, ETH you wanna buy, depending on how much money or how many USDT you do have on your derivatives account. And that's basically it. So it is the same dashboard as you have it for the limit and the market order, but you can do some interesting things with it. So for example, if you are a breakout trader, you identify here this possible trade setup and you have a fairly well-defined range or at least a fairly well-defined resistance area. As you can see here, it's actually fairly well-defined. You've got a horizontal line with a few wicks above and then you can extend out your um, resistance area. Actually, you could extend it out to the top of the highest wick. So how would you trade this? So you've got your resistance area and let's say you want to wait until we have a full breakout of the range. You know? So it, it might not be the best trade setup, but it's not really about that in this video. It's more about how I can actually, how you can actually um, trade this and without sitting in front of the screen all day, because that's the purpose of these conditional orders. You know, you can set an order based on conditions and you can go away from the screen. You can go to bed or do something else. You don't need to watch the screen all day. So let's say we've got this resistance range, which is sitting between 1226 and 1239. Let's say you say, okay, I want to, I want to trade here the breakout. Yeah. So let me actually change here the color of that. So I want to change the breakout. I want it to go up and I believe it will come back for a retest because I normally trade when there is a retest. I don't just want to go in and risk that it's going to fail. I want to have a successful retest. So what do we do? So let's say you then say, okay, I believe it will come back to that support line again. That's my trade setup. So it will come back to that level and then go up. What does that mean? That means we want to wait for a breakout above 12.39 or let's call it 12.39.50. But I don't want the order to execute until it comes back to 12.30. So how do I do that? You know, normally I would have to sit in front of the screen and do that. But you can use the conditional orders to set that order type and yeah to to put the conditions in so how would you do that so first of all what is your condition your condition is very clearly that you want that line to be broken up here what did we just say 1239.50 so what do i do i add here 1239.50 that will be a long order by the way and then i select here that's the order price at what price do i want the order then to execute that's only the trigger yeah that's when the condition will get triggered so that's when the condition will be met. But that doesn't mean I want it to be the order to be executed straight away. Yeah, because I want the order to come back to the 1230 level before I place my order. So I'm going to do that. My order price will be to 1230. And I have to select limit for that. Then I can say, okay, how much do I actually want to order? So I don't have massive amounts of USDT on the account, but um, just to show you here the example. So, and then I select my um, portfolio value. And then very important, I mean, you know, you're not in front of the screen, so this could fail. I mean, it could be, it could be, this is actually going to go, no, I didn't want to do that. Um, so yeah, so let's say it actually goes up, comes back as expected, but it doesn't do the retest, it breaks down. And you're asleep and you don't see it and suddenly it goes down. How do you protect yourself from that? Well, very easily you can select a stop loss. You can add your stop loss straight away. So what do you do? 
you can add a stop loss at, for example, or just below the technical um, support level, because you hope it will be flipped for support. Well, it is not support, so actually below that resistance box. So let's say you set your stop loss at maybe 1220. Yeah, it's up to you how close you set it, 1220. And that will be this stop loss for the position with that quantity that you entered here. You can also add a take profit if you say, okay, let's say it does all of that. I don't get stopped out, it moves up. I wanna take profits at 1270. You do that as well. So you see, you can add quite a bit in here. And, um, and that's basically it. And you can, then you can set the order and um, so it won't, even if it now reaches 1230, but it hasn't broken the 123950 level, that won't execute. It will only execute as soon as it goes up, the trigger triggers, the condition triggers, and then it comes back and it will fill my order. And um, I've got my stop loss set as well, my take profit, and it's all good, yeah. Um, important here to say that this makes a lot of sense with a limit order. You can also set a market order, but the market order would be without retest. So let's say you say, okay, I want it to break out and I want the order to execute straight away at the breakout. In that case, you don't need a limit. Um, but you can still set a stop loss, but you say, I'm not worried about the retest. Either it goes through or it fails, whatever. I set my stop loss, I'm fine. Um, I don't want it that complicated and you just select the market order and then you can also go go long. Now the same thing works obviously the other way around yeah when you look at a short order. So let's look for a possible short trade setup as well. So when we look at the short we could do it in a similar way yeah we could say I want to enter my short after it hits the resistance yeah maybe it maximizes the resistance out and then when I have a signal that it actually comes down. So what could be a way to trade this short? Short could be I'm waiting for it to reach the top of the resistance area because I want to get a good price. So maybe at 1237. I select a limit order because I want to add my execution price. So let's say, okay, I want it to trigger get live basically when it reaches that level. But of course, I have the risk of shorting into an uptrend because it could just carry on. So I want some kind of a signal that it is coming down. My signal would, for example, be in this case, just an idea, that it breaks below the lower end of the resistance box. So it breaks below, let's say, 1225. So I want this to be executed when it reaches 1225. Again, my order quantity. I will sell short and I will set a stop loss above my trigger um, or above my order price. So that's entirely up to you. Yeah, to, to keep the risk low, you could set it above 12.25, somewhere around 12.30, but you could say there could be a bit of fluctuation. So I actually wanna keep it above the resistance area at 12.41, that's up to you. So stop loss here could be at 12.41. I would always set a stop loss when going short, always, yeah. Um, and you can also say take profit and say, okay, when I run into this support area down here, because there's clearly going to be some support, let's say around 11.95, then I want to take some profits. And then you can, not like that, 11.95. And then I can go short. So and this is how you can use the conditional orders. So there's various ways of doing this. I will make more tutorials on that because it's quite a complex topic and especially for beginners, quite hard to grasp. It's better to get, best to get familiar with the more simple order types and then work your way up until you're comfortable. And then you can try that ideally first with lower um, quantities, lower volumes, until you get more familiar, comfortable, until you get profitable, and then you can scale up. And at some point, if you're interested, you can use leverage as well, but I would avoid it as best as possible because um, it makes trading just much more difficult but you can of course use it when you know what you're doing. Okay, and that's my tutorial about Bybit. I hope you like the update. If you wanna support more crypto online and you don't have a Bybit account yet, you can click on the affiliate link in the video description and then you can open an account. Sometimes there's a bonus that changes every month though, so um, I can't really promise any, any bonuses here, so you best check that out when you click on the link and if you're interested, you can sign up for Bybit. And other than that, I hope you like the tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.